So today is day three of filming. Final, well actually it's gonna be a half day because I've gotta go catch a plane at some point. Um, today I'm gonna to be doing an interview with Dom, who's the head of mammals here, and from everything I've heard, it's quite a character. Oh, hello, Hornbill. I'm also gonna be doing a few bits of B-roll, so just bits and bobs of um, a footage that you can cut into other videos. And I'm also, because I'm seriously thinking this far ahead, I'm also going to be filming some stuff for my Project for Awesome video this year. So doing a few bits of the camera, hopefully, which I'm going to try and do when it's nice and not busy and so really not embarrassing. We'll see how that goes. There's our echo parakeet from yesterday. You really are very lovely. At the moment, there's an orang and her baby making their way this way, and I am so desperate for them to come and shop, because at the moment, all of the stuff that I've just done to camera has looked very much like most of the orangutan's home habitat, in that um, it doesn't have orangutans in it. I feel like somebody meant for that to happen. I don't think that could have got more perfect. Okay, so we just finished the last lot of filming. I uh, used Dom, who really lit a fire under my ass, actually, in the best possible way. He really, really made me start thinking about these issues very seriously. And quite a quiet guy, but really, really passionate about this work. You could tell that this meant the world to him. What people forget is that we are on a little ball floating in a very dark, hostile, scary place, space, you know. And we're all, if you like, earthlings on this little planet. And to me, those animals have every right to exist on this planet and to wash, you know, to just see them disappear. An absolute tragedy. And it'd be probably you know, one of the worst things that can ever do, you know, to just snub out a form of life, a species that's evolved over hundreds of thousands of years just because of our short-termism. So it, it's, its right to exist is paramount. You know, we, we should cherish these things as the ultimate treasures of the planet. Apart from that, if we look at this um, planet that we live on, this ball floating around, it's got this fantastic regulated system that regulates the climate, the water, the air, all these things that we take for granted. But the nuts and the bolts of the system are the species within it. The pied tamarins, for example, the black lion tamarin, the fish. They're all part of the machine that keeps us on this habitable planet. So if we start chucking away the nuts and bolts and they start disappearing, Ultimately, you know, from a selfish point of view, that's going to have an impact on us. You know, it's going to have a massive impact on us. So from an altruistic point of view about the, and, and the beauty and the wonder of the planet, yes, these animals have to survive. But also from a selfish point of view, we have to have these animals and these species on the planet. We are intrinsically linked. Our futures are intrinsically linked. And we've got to grow up and just recognise that fact because we're just fooling ourselves. And, and robbing future generations of humans who live on this planet if we don't stop and think now. I've now got to do my best to make the best damn project for Awesome Video possible because they need the funds here. They really do. If they were to win Project for Awesome, if they were to get $100,000 or however much the share is going to be this year, it would really make a huge, huge difference here. And I owe it to them to make the best video I can. I really do. At the moment though, that's it though. That's the end of this Jersey uh, adventure. I am going to be getting on a bus to St Helia and then another bus to the airport. So I guess I should sign off really. I don't want to go yet. I'm really enjoying myself. I have, well, I've got to say I'm really, really, 
really tired. I mean, I don't know if you've ever had this, but I guess it's because I'm doing it by myself. Like, I'm shooting everything by myself. I'm trying to think about the edit myself. I'm trying to write my Project for Awesome video on the fly. Um, and doing all of that for three days straight is absolutely exhausting. So I am going to sleep very well tonight. But thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been nice to have somebody, well, I say somebody, a Canon G7X, uh, to take around with me. And um, the videos that I'm going to be making featuring the interviews and sort of talking about the big issues here, they're going to be coming out in a few weeks, so make sure you, you stay tuned for that. And um, if you want to be updated, make sure you just subscribe to the channel and all that youtube stuff that people tell you to do. Actually, one last thing I need to say. Thank you so much to Rick for helping me coordinate this here and for being such a willing interviewee. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do all this without you and yeah, you've been really, really fantastic. As has everybody here at Dive, everyone's been so lovely. So if you end up watching this, thank you everybody. Like really, really thank you, you were so great. And uh, I, hope I, can, I hope I can do your work some justice and um, get, you some, get you some donations that uh, I know are really, really needed. So thank you very much for hosting me and being so really fantastic.